Okay, I did problem number 52. 5 to the negative 3rd and x to the 6th over 6 to the negative 3 times y to the 6th. Alright, to start we're going to separate all the parts of this equation. So we have 5 to the negative 3rd and that's on the top so we'll put it over 1 times 1 over 6 to the negative 3 because that's on the bottom times x to the 6th over 1 times 1 over y to the 6th alright so these ones over here with the variables are already fully simplified there's nothing else we can do with those however these have a negative exponent and we want to get rid of that so, to do that, we have 5 to the negative 3 over 1. So that's 1 over 5 to the 3rd divided by 1. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we'll just flip this, and we actually have neg 1 over 5 to the 3rd. So 5 to the negative third over 1 is the same as 1 over 5 to the third. So that means this one right here, we're just going to flip over because when you have a negative exponent, it basically just flick, flips the flat fraction. So on this one, we have 6 to the third over 1 times x to the sixth over 1 times 1 over y to the sixth. Alright, now we can still reduce the 5 to the 3rd and the 6 to the 3rd more because we know what those exponents are. So we have 5 to the 3rd, which is 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 125. And then 6 to the 3rd is 6 times 6 times 6 which is 216. So now we have 1 over 125 times 216 over 1 times x to the 6th over 1 times 1 over y to the 6th. Now we can multiply out all these fractions to get our final answer. So, on the top, we have 1 times 216 times x to the 6th times 1. So that's going to give us 216x to the 6th. On the bottom, we have 125 times 1 times 1 times y to the 6th. So that gives us 125y to the 6th. And this fraction cannot be simplified anymore. So that's your final answer. Thanks for watching.